we're exploring a famous unsolved riddle in number theory, for which positive integers n is n factorial plus 1 a perfect square. Let's start by doing what any mathematician would. Test the first few numbers and see if we can find any solutions. For n equals 1, we have 1 factorial plus 1. 1 factorial is 1. This gives us 2, not a perfect square. For n equals 2, 2 factorial is 2, which gives 3. Still no. For n equals 3, 3 factorial is 6, which is 7. No luck yet. Now let's try n equals 4. 4 factorial is 24. Adding 1 gives us 25. And 25 is a perfect square. It's 5 squared. We found our first solution. Let's try an equals 5. 5 factorial is 120. Adding 1 gives 121, which is 11 squared, another solution. For n equals 6. 6 factorial is 720. Adding 1 gives 721. A quick check shows this is not a perfect square. And for n equals 7. 7 factorial is 5,040. Adding 1 gives 5,041, which is exactly 71 squared, a third solution. These three pairs of n and m are the only solutions that have ever been found. They are sometimes called brown numbers. So, are there any more? This is where the story gets really interesting. Mathematicians have done exactly that. Computers have checked for solutions for n up to 1 quadrillion and found nothing. However, no matter how high we search, this doesn't prove that another solution isn't hiding just beyond our reach. This is an unsolved problem. To understand why we believe there are no more solutions, we need to introduce one of the most profound and powerful ideas in modern number theory. The conjecture starts with three integers a, b, and c that share no common factors and satisfy a plus b equals c. Next, we define a concept called the radical. The radical of a number is the product of its distinct prime factors. You essentially ignore the exponents. For example, the prime factorization of 72 is 2 cubed times 3 squared. Its radical is just 2 times 3, which is 6. The ABC conjecture states, in simple terms, that C is rarely much larger than the radical of the product A times B times C. Numbers with small radicals are called smooth. The conjecture implies that the sum of two numbers can't be too smooth. How does this abstract idea connect to our factorial problem? Let's find out. We can map our equation directly to the ABC setup. Let a b in factorial, b b1, and c b m squared. The conjecture provides a bound on m squared related to the radical of the whole product. The radical of n factorial times m squared is much, much smaller than m squared itself, especially for large n. The math gets very deep here, but intuitively, the radical grows far more slowly than the original numbers. But the astounding result, shown by Marius Overholt in 1993, is that if the ABC conjecture is true, it proves that Brocard's problem can only have a finite number of solutions. It doesn't tell us what they are, but it proves they are not infinite. So, what can we say in the end? We have found three solutions by hand, the so-called brown numbers. We know that it remains an unsolved problem, but after extensive searching, it's widely believed there are no others. And most remarkably, a final proof is tied to one of the deepest and most difficult conjectures in all of mathematics. And that is the beauty of unsolved problems. They show us the frontier of our knowledge and connect simple questions to profound, underlying truths about the universe of numbers. Thank you for joining this exploration of a classic IMO problem.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more mathematical content. See you next time.